here's some of the dolls that are up here. There's one there that's sleeping. <laughs> they know I'm in the store. They've started their Christian music. <laughs> They're looking right at me. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> Not a heck of a whole lot going on here. There's a nice red candle for two dollars. And can you buy? Yeah. Alright, I'm not moving. <laughs> Looky here, guys. There are two silver chalices that have grapes on them. Both of them for three dollars. See this. Something like this, you would have ordered something like this offline or gone into an occult shop and paid eight, nine, ten dollars for something like this. So we've got bells. We got bells and stuff in here. Piece of candle holder. I'm gonna see if I can see back here. Now it's kind of dark. There's a, another chalice that can be used for fairies. Special oils and stuff for baths, for um, your ritual trial, blah, 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 blah. purifying a ritual bath for yourself so you can cleanse yourself before a ritual. And you've got all kinds of glasses and goblets and whatever you want to use. Um, let me see if I can find something. Here. here we go. Okay. Something like this, you could actually buy a glass etching kit and actually etch a pinnacle into this, or actually etch a uh, triple moon symbol into these, but make sure that the glass is, is fairly thick, because if not, it'll eat right through the glass. You could actually take something like that and actually paint a pentacle on it and then put a uh, sealer over the top of it. And you can personalize these things. Oh my god, a sake set. 
I know who would like this. That is totally awesome. With the little little cups. Savannah Beach Bomb Girl. I'm thinking about you looking at these. There's a glass spoon that could be used for um, your herbal stuff. Here is a mug with a spoon holder. This could be used for drinking uh, herbal teas before divination, like mugwort and things like that. You, you buy things that are special that make you feel good. Something like that. I would actually use that to actually completely fill it with herbs and put it in the full moon and charge the herbs because of the spiral pattern. That's actually um, an olive olive holder, I think. Okay, I'm over in the section where all the crafts and artsy farts and stuff is. Um, over here behind me, there's like lots of suitcases and makeup cases and stuff like that. I saw this one on the floor. This one is actually three dollars. Something like this would be absolutely amazing for carrying your tarot cards, your crystals, your candles. If you're going traveling and you're doing readings for people, um, you do them. Um, parties and things like that. Something like this would be absolutely amazing to have. Um, there's a little compartment there that actually snaps off. And that's what the inside looks like. There's a mirror. So, uh, made in Canada. There's no this is fairly old though. There's no key for it, but the locks do actually work. So that would actually be amazing for um, OMG. I think I might actually be buying this. This would be amazing for doing ritual stuff. Chalice. Athame. This would be great for carrying all of my ritual stuff to, for a circle for doing uh, ritual stuff. Oh my god. I think I might actually get this if I have enough room on my bike. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's pretty awesome. <laughs> so I've been looking for something simple that's not too terribly bulky to actually carry uh, carry all my ritual stuff in. Even something like that would work. Because it's actually got the, um, holders. The chalice could go there. And it's actually lined with, um, plastic. How much is that one? That one's only two dollars. Ooh, I think I might have to come back down here and get one of these. Because as of right now, I don't have enough room. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry for making you making you all sick and dizzy. Um, because I was actually going to the uh, food bank. I've got a, a big bag of food right here in my cart that I was going to be dropping off at the food bank. So, um, I don't think I've got room for it right now. All right, if it's meant for me to have, it'll still be here when I come back. So, and there's some of the material and stuff. I'm going to start collecting tool, and I'm going to start doing, um, since I know how to do tutus now, I think I'm going to start actually doing tutus, but I need to wait for some uh, tool and stuff to show up. Not a lot of 
selection in the fabric department, but it's it's still fairly early. Like I said, people, the stuff they don't sell at yard sales, it all winds up in here. So, well, I guess other than that, not a heck of a whole lot else to show everybody in here. Oh, are you going over here? Not a heck of a whole lot in here right now. There's some purses. It's about time for me to recycle mine and find a different one. Well, okay, I guess I'm going to be taking off now. And thanks for watching, everybody. Um, I'm going to meander out the back door. Awesome looking. Two dollars for those. I don't see. Um, occasionally you see rockabilly uh, type shoe stuff in here, and it never stays on the shelf for very long. So, all right. That's kind of what they got going on back here right now. Over here, look at that. A track player, radio. That would make a nice altar. That would make a nice altar because it's round. You may not even think about it. Something like a filing cabinet. If you can find a filing cabinet in a decent shape with the with the casters and everything on it, this also would make a really awesome altar as well because you can actually store everything in the cabinet. There's a decent set of cabinets there. Okay, gonna walk over here and look. And look sometimes too. There's an air purifier um, for twenty five dollars. There's a fancy little leather carafe for two dollars. There's a food dehydrator for twelve bucks. They're not allowed to take in anything back here to put on the shelf that hasn't been tested, so. There's an antique clock. Uh, Alrighty. Hey, how you doing? So, I think we are going to be buggering out of here.